Yeah, so, <coughs> hey there, Nubian, uh, Wise Nubian, uh, Dex here. Uh, I know you sent me a bunch of videos, I've been going through them, trying to figure out uh, how I can respond and so forth. Um, but I also had, had been sent the um, by yourself, but also by others, on the uh, the, the Criminals Gone Wild uh, bit from, uh, from Bill O'Reilly. And I accept... Uh, what you're saying about the embedded journalists in Iraq, I think, uh, holds some water. There was certainly uh, seemed to be some sort of, you know, made for uh, for the cameras um, sort of thing, um, where you know journalists encouraged um, you know the guys to blow shit up and blow it up really good, and uh, and to show the invasions and 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 so forth. So that point is 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 well taken. But I don't, I think it's a bit of a leap to say um, the producer from Criminals Gone Wild, it's okay that he did it because it's okay that they did it. I, I just think that's bullshit. That's a bit of a cop out. Um, they're both wrong. You know, to, if you're facilitating crime, I mean, I, for, to, my, to my way of thinking, when I just saw the clips of, from the Criminals Gone Wild, it looks terribly scripted, terribly, terribly faked. Uh, uh, I've lived in the inner city for, uh, uh, not now, but uh, over the last, say, 20 years or so, um, I've had some run-ins uh, in the inner city, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> it just came across like... Uh, I don't know. It's not real. You know, there's a reality. It's like the movie. You know, I don't know. It, it just. It didn't strike me as too authentic. Um, but that's you know. So I, I don't know. I think there's a certain market for that. I, you know, you know how it goes. The the kids in the suburbs, the white kids in the suburbs. Um, do most of the buying, you know. I mean, all the the gangsta look uh, that was really popular, you know, for a little while with the oversized jeans and and uh, and so forth. That was being mass produced and sold, you know, at the Gap and and uh, Abercrombie and Fitch and all that sort of shit, you know. Um, so I mean, that's. That's just wholly unfortunate, right? What I wanted to uh, respond to you most was, um, you're quite correct. In uh, there seems to be a notion that when uh, it's always kind of funny to me when um, we're made to uh, we have a common enemy, and um, but somehow we trans we transfer uh, the people at the top that are doing the oppressing, and but we lump the people, the common people into that structure, which is just completely horseshit. Um, and it's it's really as simple as this. When Timothy McVeigh, um, along with his Arab conspirator, conspirator that didn't uh, that didn't really come out of court, but when Timothy McVeigh, even if you accept that he acted alone, uh, blew up the um, Oklahoma City uh, federal building in, in uh, 93. When that happened, did we round up everyone who lived in Michigan? Everyone that knew him? Because surely if one Michigan nut bar decided to commit an act of terrorism, then of course he'd have to infect everyone that knows him, right? Everybody in that area. I People look at me with, with you say that to someone say, what are, you, what are you crazy? No. You say, well, what about the sniper? The West Virginia sniper that held uh, held the country hostage there for a little while, picking off innocents left, right, and center. What about him? Now, is every is everyone associated with him then automatically guilty? Guilty by association? They say, well, shit, no, of course not. He was a lone gunman. He had nothing to do with this. Or the other people had nothing to do with that. It's separate. Two different things. But on a global scale, and I grew up in the Cold War, I grew up 
with a lot of the bullshit that the Russians wrote to get that, that the Russian way uh, was they wrote for world domination and uh, you know this that and the other thing and uh, I didn't know a Russian I didn't know fuck all about uh, the Russian people not at all you know we're told that the people were oppressed and they're made to do things and so forth but then this notion that we're going to hate all Russians it's absolutely ridiculous and my feeling is and unfortunately wise Nubian I, I, this is where we come to a bit of a head a little bit because I sent you that Bullworth uh, clip um, if you haven't seen the movie I, I mean I do rec I totally recommend it it's a, it's a wonderful social uh, commentary um, and I'll, I'm paraphrasing the line from that movie that you know, black people and or poor people and white people, black people, you know, white have more in common than rich people. And that's the bottom line, man. They do not give a shit about me. They do not give a shit about you. The top five percent will always do what they can to keep the bottom ninety five percent. Um, fighting against each other so they don't concentrate their full force against them number one and number two they because they own the media and the advertisers and they decide how things get spin and shaped and so forth the problem is is that even though people at the end of their life when they're dying when they're right near the end and they're dying and they'll say they all the truth is nobody sits around on their deathbed and talks about their Cadillac or their SUV or how many rooms they have in their house or how much money they made they don't talk about that they talk about their family and their legacy of love and how they'll be remembered that, that, that is the important thing and we know deep down that is the important thing how we treat our, our fellow man am I my brother's keeper I don't believe in organized religion I the Islam the Islam faith in its purest form I think is fine as is the Christian faith the problem is even in the Christian faith shit man We've got Protestants, Baptists, Methodists, Lutherans, you know, the Catholics. You know, I grew up in a town of 10,000 people. There were fucking nine churches there, each with their own little sect. All Christian. All Christian. But all little pieces, different, that separated them enough. You know? So I. There's always going to be people always gonna be people that are looking to use uh, and religion is the most common but there's other things too the religion of money I think that's as, as corruptible as anything you know this notion that if your worth your self-worth is equal to that of your bank account which is complete and utter nonsense that's nonsense it's just utter nonsense um, it's a complex uh, situation Nubian and I I don't know if really if I address anything properly here today uh, 10 minutes is kinda hard uh, to get everything all in line um, but I found this uh, this tune here and I'll let that play out Peace. Who's got most room for 